Hello and welcome to the channel. In another video we saw how to clear cells based on value using the replace method in Excel VBA. In this video we'll do it looping through each cell and setting a condition to clear the values. But this other method, so let me put clear values method 2 and this is actually not only to clear values, it's, it's, it can be used for many other things and again we're gonna need a a range object variable so let me just copy that here it's gonna be that's gonna be exactly the same we can choose to target the the used range in that sheet or a particular range the selection a column etc and then we have to look for each cell in that range and set a condition if cell dot value is for example we have some 999 uh, values or it could also be like that in in the table where we want to actually clear that value so we can set the cell value to an empty string or we could actually have vv null string and the if statement here and go to the next cell now this method has some advantages and also some disadvantages. So one of the disadvantages is when it finds uh, an error in a cell like this one here, the reference error, it's going to stop the code and prompt an error. So we need to use on error resume next here. And of course, we assume we only have 999 in this in this column. We are not clearing other important values. And this would be the same as, of course, as adding 999 here with replace method. But the advantage of this method is that we can also set other conditions, such as if it's greater than 1000, we clear the value. Or even if it's greater than 1000 and the cell value is lower than 2000, so we can concatenate numerous conditions to clear only those cells. Additionally, another advantage of this of this method is that we cannot just clear values, we can do many other things um, with the cells. So we can add formatting like the interior color or we can format the font, color, size, whatever. We could also delete a cell like that or we could delete the entire row. So we could say rows cell dot row delete and that would delete the entire row when it meets that condition and things like that so it has it has several advantages now if we run the macro it didn't prompt an error because because of error handling here and it has clear both the 99 and also the reference error and we could avoid that using cell dot formula and targeting uh, certain errors but i'm going to cover that in a separate video so i will not go into that detail now but um, for example another thing we could do is to clear all the cells that have zero and that could be an integer zero or it could be a percent zero like here so if we run the macro now we are clearing here the cells with zero percent because for example that could be a mistake here right And instead of assigning an empty string to the cell value, we could also use clear contents. The outcome would be exactly the same. If we also want to clear the formats, we can use clear. And if we want to clear formats only, we would use clear formats. And maybe it's also interesting to say that if we want to clear the whole range, we can just target the range with either clear, clear contents or clear formats, or we could clear several other things, clear comments, clear hyperlinks, etc. So that's how we clear cells based on cell value using loops in Excel VBA. Thanks for watching.